Hello everyone. Welcome back to CAD Tutorials for Beginners. In this tutorial, we will learn another sketch based feature that is stiffener. So if you just uh, drop down this st uh, solid combined menu, uh, in this you can find the option that is stiffener which creates a stiffener to provide the support for the surfaces or the elongated objects. So uh, before going to uh, create the stiffener, we must have the parts available in the part design so that we can provide the stiffener for this. So uh, let us first create one simple sketch over here. Then we will see the different types of stiffeners. So uh, just create on the top plane and we will use uh, the rectangle center rectangle just provide the dimensions let's say 100 mm and here we'll provide again 100 mm okay so uh, exit the workbench and we'll create a simple pad So uh, now uh, if we click on the uh, stiffener option, now we can uh, see that option enable. We have one part available in our part design. So here uh, the first is the mode. So there are two types of stiffeners we can uh, create in the part design with the help of this option. So first is the from side and the second one is the from top. So uh, first we will see uh, the option that is from side. So for, for this from side option, uh, we have to provide the thickness as a parameter. Uh, again, we can um, provide the neutral fiber and here uh, we have to provide the profile. So which will be the open profile for the from side option. So if we click on the from top, you can uh, provide the again thickness, neutral fiber and the profile. So from uh, from top option uh, have enable enability uh, like uh, we can provide the close profile as well as the open profile as well as the intersected profile for this one. So let's see uh, the first option that is from side first. Let's cancel it and uh, we'll create one more feature over here. And here as well we will create a rectangular. profile and here again make this coincidence make this coincidence similarly make this as coincidence so for the complete length we will create and here keep this as 20 mm so exit the workbench and let's pad it so let's add 100 mm uh, just make it to 80 okay so now uh, we have this uh, this type of part available here and if you want to provide the stiffener from side we have to create one profile over here so again uh, we'll first create one plane so we we can use the plane for locating that stiffener so uh, again uh, the main use of this plane is uh, it will be uh, very easy to modify if you use the plane to create a stiffener. So uh, we select the plane definition here and let's select the face or this plane uh, with the reference specific reference you can provide. And here I will provide the minus, minus 32 and click on OK. So now uh, we will just draw on this plane and here just make it reverse and click on ok so now we we are on this plane now and here create one simple profile we'll provide the constraints over here just select this dot select this point and this edge and make it coincidence Similarly, uh, select this point, end point of this line and make this age as a coincidence. And you can simply adjust these lengths based on this 
point and this age this distance or whatever the distance you can provide let's select the 60 mm and here also we will provide this point age or you can provide the length of this stiffness directly make it to 60 and exit so now we have the profile ready with us so now we can apply the stiffener select the from side option select the thickness and select the profile over here so once you click on the profile uh, you can see uh, the stiffener in the preview and just increase the thickness so you can see uh, just click on ok and in this way uh, you can create a stiffener again double click on it and here uh, if you if you don't want to uh, provide the same thickness one and thickness two so thickness one is one side of this edge as well as the thickness two is one side of this edge so instead of this you can you can provide the uh, two different thicknesses and just click on ok just click on it so in this way uh, you can provide the uh, from side uh, stiffness over here one more uh, example we will see here so let's delete this one so uh, just delete this and here uh, again we will delete this pad let's delete this one and now instead of this rectangular we will create one circular profile and we will create a cylinder let's add 45 mm and exit the workbench and make it a pad let's click on ok so now we will create a rib over here from side so again now we will uh, create on this uh, center plane only instead of creating on the plane so now uh, if you want to get the projected elements you can uh, just select the option over here and for the cylindrical you can just select the project shell out edges and select this edges so now make this as a construction element and just take on the line select the line just turn it into the regular element standard element and now you can provide the constraints over here so make it coincidence make it coincidence and here we will create this let's add to 25 mm and here i will just make it as it is okay so again uh, select the stiffener option and we'll create the 2 mm thickness or uh, increase it to 3 mm so now uh, we'll use uh, the pattern just select the circular pattern and object to pattern we'll just select uh, this as an object to pattern and here select the complete chrome and the instances select the reference element as the z axis and click on ok so now you can see uh, the uh, stiffeners are created all around this cylindrical elongated parts so basically uh, this from side stiffener uh, is used uh, to support the elongated parts So now we will move on to uh, the uh, stiffener from side so again i will just delete this one just delete this stiffeners we have created also this pad i will delete and we use this pad 
just make it little bigger one and keep it to 70 mm so now uh, i will use the shell command to make it hollow and uh, the uh, thick box box like structure just click on ok so now uh, the uh, stiffener from side is basically used uh, to support the top surface as well as the uh, it is used to increase the stiffness of the surface strength of the surface so uh, just click on the uh, stiffener option and just select the top you can see see the parameters the thickness the neutral fiber again uh, you, you can provide the profile so here profile will uh, profile can be open profile as well as the closed profile as well as the intersected profile so now uh, again we will use the uh, plane command over here let's select uh, the plane and from this plane in the reverse direction we will create on the 32 mm just keep it at 32 mm and now we'll just draw on this sketch on the top plane and now as we said we can have the intersected sketches over here just create these random sketches as you want and just exit this so now we have this uh, sketch ready with us i will just hide this plane and now uh, select the stiffener option select the from top and select this sketch as the profile so now you can see the sketch we have created is getting extended till the next wall of the object and it is adding the material for the thickness just click on ok so now you can see uh, the stiffener from the top is created so now again if you want to uh, just manage this height of this stiffener then you can simply uh, simply uh, change the dimension let's say 40 and it will be it will increase the height So now I will just make it to 20 mm and now you can see it is reduced. So in this way uh, you can create the stiffener from side and the stiffener from the top in Katia V5. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe our channel for such more detailed videos. If you have any uh, queries you can add in the comment section in the videos. Also click on the uh, bell icon to have the uh, daily updates for the uh, videos getting uploaded on this YouTube channel. So thank you for watching. Uh, thank you.